Hi class, this evening we're going to be looking at Go Math Lesson 6.1, Addition with Unlike Denominators. So let's take a look at our essential question. How can you use models to add fractions that have different denominators? So let's take a look at our investigate word problem. Hillary is making a tote bag for her friend. She uses one half yard of blue fabric and one fourth yard of red fabric. How much fabric does Hillary use? Now, within this section, it's having us use fraction strips in the math board, but we're going to do it a little different. So the first step in finding the answer is to find one-half plus one-fourth. So we know in order to do that, we have unlike denominators. Our first denominator is a two, and our second denominator is a four. So in order to add fractions together, this is very different from the multiplication and division of fractions that we have done in the past. In order to add our fractions together, we have to find a common denominator. And in order to find common denominators, we have to look at our multiples. And remember, like multiples of two would be two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Multiples of four would be four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So let's take a look at our two fractions, one half and one fourth. So in order to do that, we have to find our common denominator. Well, we know that a multiple of two is four, and we know that a multiple of four is four. So if we look at our one half and we look at our one fourth, we see that we have a common denominator of four. And we do this by taking four divided by two equals two. And then our next step is to multiply the two times one equals two. So we know that our equivalent fraction of one half with a common denominator of four is two fourths. Now we don't have to do anything to our second fraction because it already has a denominator of four. So we can bring that straight down. And now that we have a common denominator, we simply have to add our numerators. And we know that two plus one equals three. Our denominator doesn't change. So our answer is three fourths. So one-half plus one-fourth will equal three-fourths. So Hillary uses three-fourths yard of fabric. Now let's jump down to our draw conclusions. Describe how you would determine what fraction strips, all with the same denominator, would fit exactly under one-half plus one-third. What are they? Well, again, we have to look at our denominators of 2 and 3 and think about our multiples, our common multiples of both. So we know that our multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, and 8. And if we look at our multiples of 3, we have 3, 6, and 9. And we already see that we have 2 multiples in common. So we can use the 6. So then we would have 1 half and 1 third with a common denominator of 6. We do 6 divided by 2 equals 3 and then 3 times 1 equals 3. So that we know that 1 half equals 3 6. And then we do the same thing on the other side. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 2 times 1 equals 2. So now we have a common denominator on both. So now we just have to add our numerators together. And that 3 plus 2 equals 5. Our denominator does not change when adding fractions. So our answer is 5 6. Now, for number two, where it says to explain the difference between finding fraction strips, we are simply just going to mark that question out. Now, let's move on to our make connections. It says, sometimes the sum of two fractions is greater than one. When adding fractions with unlike denominators, 
you can use the one whole strip to help determine if the sum is greater than one or less than one. So now we're going to use fraction strips to solve three-fifths plus one-half. Again, we don't have the fraction strips, so we're just going to work through this step by step. So if we have three-fifths plus one-half, let's go over on the side and do our three-fifths plus one-half. Well, we know that the very first step that we have to do is to list our multiples of 5, which is our first denominator. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. And then let's list our multiples of 2. And we do 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And now we can stop because we see that we have a common multiple of 10. So we're going to use this common multiple of 10 to create equivalent fractions for our two fractions we're using in the problem. So now we come down here and we put our 10 at the base or the denominator for both and we're going to find the equivalent fractions for 3 fifths and 1 half that has a denominator of 10. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. And 10 divided by 2 equals 5. And 5 times 1 equals 5. So now we can add these together. And 6 plus 5 equals 11 because we add only the numerators together. Our denominators stay the same. And now you will see that our answer of 11 tenths is a fraction greater than 1 or an improper fraction. And we know to find that, we simply take 11 divided by 10, and that would go 1 time. 1 times 10 is 10. 11 minus 10 is 1. Our 1 becomes our new numerator. Our denominator stays the same. So our answer is 1 and 1 tenth. It's very, very simple to add fractions after you have found the common multiple for both. Now, instead of notes today, we're going to take a look at our problem solving question. And this is one of our hot problems, so let's take a look at this one together. So it says Maya makes trail mix by combining one third cup of mixed nuts and one fourth cup of diced fruit. What is the total amount of ingredients in her trail mix? Well, we know that the first step we have to do in answering this question is to determine what it is we need to find. And it is what is the total amount of ingredients in her trail mix. Now our question also poses one of our key words and that is the word total. And we know when we see the word total, that typically means to add. Now let's go back. She's combining one third cup of mixed nuts and one fourth cup of diced fruit. And we know that this word right here also means to add. So that we're going to set up our problem, our equation that we need to solve is going to be one third plus one fourth equals seven twelfths. So Maya uses 7 twelfths cup of ingredients. Well, how did they get the 7 twelfths? Well, the very first step that they did was to take their 1 third and their 1 fourth, and we look at our denominators of 3 and 4, and we list out our multiples. And we know it's 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. Now let's look at our other denominator of 4 and go 4, 8, 12, and we can stop because now we see that we have a common multiple for both. So we take our new common multiple and make it our denominator. We do 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. 12 divided by 4 equals 3, and 3 times 1 equals 4. 3. And when we add our numerators together, and only our numerators, we know that 4 plus 3 equals 7, 
our denominator does not change when adding and subtracting fractions. So we see how they got the 7 twelfths. Now it says to write a new problem using different amounts for each ingredient. Each amount should be a fraction with a denominator of 2, 3, or 4. Then use fraction strips. We're going to leave the part about using the fraction strips out. So let's look at a possible new problem. Okay, so our new word problem could read, Maria uses one-fourth cup of mixed nuts and one-half cup of dried fruit for her trail mix. What is the total amount of ingredients? Well, we're going to work through this one together. So we know that the question we need to answer is, what is the total amount of ingredients? And we see our keyword of total, which typically means to add. Now, we're seeing that she uses a quarter cup or one-fourth cup of mixed nuts and that keyword there means to add one-half cup of dried fruit. So automatically we know that the word problem is telling us to add the two fractions. So we come down here and we do one-fourth plus one-half. Now we need to find our common multiples. So we know we've got one denominator of two. So two, four, six, eight. And our second denominator is four, eight. And we can already stop because we see a common multiple of four. So since we've already got the denominator of four, we don't need to change that one. We can bring it straight down. Now with our other one, we put the denominator of four. Four divided by two is two. Two times one equals two. So our equivalent fraction for one half is two fourths. And then we add our numerators together. One plus two equals three. And we do not change our denominator when adding fractions. So that stays as four. So what is the total amount of ingredients that Maria will use? And that's three-fourths cup. And let's look at the very last part. Explain why you chose the amount you did for your problem. Well, to answer that question, we chose fractions with denominators of two and four because we know from experience that four is a multiple of two, so finding the common denominator is easier. Okay, so now let's take a look at our password for tonight's lesson. It says, the fifth grade raised $182 by selling tickets for a car wash. If each ticket cost $3.25, how many tickets did the fifth grade sell? Is it 56 hundredths, 5 and 6 tenths, 56, or 60? Be sure you work the problem out and bring your answer with you to class tomorrow as your password. I'll see you then.